Bare root fruit trees are the professional gardener's way of planting, establishing and growing very successfully. Now, um, and of course it does apply to roses and shrubs as well, but this particular one is a fruit tree. Now this happens to be conference pear. And when you look at it initially, you can see the, ro the roots are exposed. They're not potted, they're not growing in compost. You've got this swollen section down at the base with a join here. And then you've actually got the actual branches here, which we call feathers, at the top end of the tree. Now, each of these important parts is critical. But one of the first things I just want to explain to you is when you look at any bare root tree or shrub or rose bush or in fact any dormant bare root plant of any type, people often look at them and one of the regular questions that we have asked to us is, is this particular item alive or not? And there's a very, very easy way of testing. So get yourself a sharp knife. I've got a little gardening knife here. Obviously, always be careful when handling any sharp knife. And if you start at the most um, extreme part of the tree and then with your knife just scrape backwards and look at the colour that's exposed underneath. Now if it's green it's alive and of course if the branch is alive there it will be alive all the way down here and of course all the way right the way down through the whole tree itself. So that branch we can tell is absolutely fine. Don't worry about that, that will just callus over and heal no problem at all. If we were concerned and we wanted to just check again, so let's pick another one of the feathers here and we'll just do the same situation. And if you can see that it's green, which you can see there, that is as green as a Granny Smith apple, that is clearly alive. So it's dormant, it's sleeping, but it's very much alive. So this is a beautiful tree, it's a lovely shaped tree and we've actually pruned it ready pre-planting. So you come down here and you look at the actual uh, structure of it itself. This piece here, again we often get questions, what is the knobbly bit on the actual base of the tree? Now this is where um, the actual variety, this is pear conference on the top and it's been grafted onto um, its dwarfing rootstock here. So this is the point where the actual variety meets the rootstock and you'll see that on apples, on pears, on plums, on cherries, in fact on any fruit tree and even on roses you'll also see that grafting point. Now below here you can actually see that the bark is quite clean to around about here and then you can start to see where there's actually soil marks on the actual base of the tree. Now that would have been, I'm just going to invert this so it's vertical, that would have been the line where the plant was actually, this was the soil level if you like, in the nursery before it was lifted. So when you actually replant it, it's always good to identify that because when you actually take out the planting hole, you want the top level of the soil to be approximately here and then the tree goes back into the same sort of depth as it was before. Now when we look at the root systems, you can see you've got different sizes and thicknesses of roots. Now don't worry about that and don't certainly worry about the fact that some of these roots will have been pruned. That's all done basically to encourage the roots to develop and establish better. And in fact, if you can see there are one or two slightly longer ones than you would ordinarily like, feel free to just get your secateurs and prune them back so they fall in line with all of the others. And you end up with a nice uniform root system. And of course, when you get that planting hole taken out, um, take it out so you've got the planting hole there, put a bit of bloodfish and bone or shrub fertilizer in there, loosen up the bottom of that hole, then spread the roots out as best you can pop in the soil, replant it and away you go. So all of that is absolutely normal. That's how a healthy bare root tree should look when you receive it. And of course, one of the things that's great about this and I think is a little bit magical is you start off in the early springtime um, with this kind of tree, or if you're planting in the autumn, of course, it could be then as well. Um, and it will magically burst into growth and literally, in this case, pear conference, from a planting around about sort of January, February, even March, you could certainly expect to see blossom the year of planting, potentially fruit around about September the first year. And of course, the great thing about fruit trees is they will carry on fruiting for years and years. So bare root fruit trees, bare root shrubs, trees, or any other kind of bare root plant, easy to grow, successful to establish. It really is the professional's way.